Hello all you beautiful people, giving you guys a chance there to check out the scenery of one of my last rides. This is an update slash an overview of the Master as well as a comparison between it and the other suspension wheels that I currently own. This ride here is all paved. It's one of my favorite things to do during the week. I ride from Tumwater Falls down to Olympia, grab a food and some drink. You can kind of ride around the entire waterfront, both dock and some kind of dirt trail. It is a really nice ride. I think it's about eight miles or so round trip if you do the whole thing. <clears throat> so far from riding between the S18 with coil, the Hero with coil, and the Master here with the air shock that has basically no rebound, um, the, the Hero, it's, I mean, it's still my favorite wheel. It's a very good performing wheel, much like the EXN, but with suspension and, in my opinion, a little bit better looking. The screens on these things, again, like other Bagode screens, are basically useless. I mean, the bars tell you nothing in regards to battery. There's no voltage readout on this one, the Hero, the EX20S, etc. The Bugode app, I do have a new prototype that's not released yet. It still does not show the voltage. A little frustrated there. But EUC World did update, so I'm assuming Darkness Bot as well. That reads out the master. However, the speed is not accurate at all, which I think I may have pointed out in my last video. Battery voltage between the two, or percent I should say. I was writing this and Bagode app said I had 40% battery, EUC World said I was down at like 14%, so it's really unfortunate to not have, you know, a, a general idea of how much battery or range you have left when the onboard screen gives you no details. EUC World has been unreliable at best and we all know how great the Bagode app is and I don't even think it's supported for you iPhone or Apple users. So, eh, I mean, I because of the firmware issue with the last couple weeks, I haven't even done a range test on this bad boy yet, but just from riding it, it is the smoothest wheel I own. I would compare it to like riding the Sherman. It doesn't have that kind of hesitation grunting like the RST does. The Hero will do that on extreme inclines at very, very low speeds, like two, three miles an hour, but the Master just, it goes. I mean, there's no question. You give it some oomph, you lean into pads if you have them, and it'll just go. I think I have like 60 miles at this time on this wheel. And the suspension's already shot. If I put it at 350, it bottoms out even riding this kind of terrain. If I put it at 400, which if you have the right pump you could get it to, it tops out constantly when you go up things and the suspension allows full travel. With the wheel basically in the downward position. And it's, it's very clanky, it's very annoying. And no matter where I put the rebound right now, it doesn't seem to affect it at all. Bagode keeps telling me that they're out of stock, they won't give me an ETA, they're not replacing it at the moment, and still have incorrect grub screws on this thing so the pedals are floppy and don't like to stay up. It's For performance, it's a great wheel. For comfort, it's an okay wheel. For aesthetics and the accessories you get, it's lame. This right here, the 22-2 market, is where Locust Cider is, where I occasionally stop. Really good handmade pizza in there. And then this is the cruise around the waterfront right here. I did have a chance to ride the S20, and assuming the S22 is the same platform, that wheel is very wide. In comparison to this wheel, it's probably a good inch and a half, maybe a little bit more wider up at the top part of the frame where the battery packs are. I did not care for that at all. I'm hoping to get my hands on an S22 so I can do a comparison between this Master, the S22, and the Hero. But as it sits right now, I, I would not buy the wheel for me just for comfort reasons. The Hero is nice and slender coming from the S18, my love for the S18s. 
it's it's very rounded it's very comfortable it's narrower my rst felt like it was wider just because the whole body's a little bit lower and i think it might be about the same girth so it's just placement i guess but that wheel to me was not a comfortable ride comparing it to an s18 or the hero the master here the battery packs are kind of bolted on the side instead of tucked underneath like the hero so it actually is a little bit wider and a little less comfortable. There's two separate battery packs, front and rear, and depending on your stance on the pedals, you're either getting jabbed by the top back corner of the front pack or the top front corner of the back pack. So I did have some people test it this last weekend off-roading, and that was the first thing they mentioned, which is my first thoughts when you get on this wheel. My pads here, do completely cover the battery packs, but you got to note that you're going to have that much more width to the wheel when you add pads. So if you like a narrower wheel, the Hero right now, in my opinion, is more comfortable for that. If you don't really care, then the Master's not that much thicker, but it is a little wider and it will be more wide with the pads. The suspension on this has a lot of travel. I mean, it feels nice when you're going up and down things when you're popping off of stuff you could definitely notice the amount of travel that you get with the suspension my hero feels like it's probably three quarters of an inch to an inch less in travel it could be due to the coil that i'm using on it and how i use the hero but it definitely feels a lot less less travel it's comfortable it does really good for street riding. It does okay for not harsh terrain off-roading. I would say for anybody extreme out there, you would want to get the S22 or the Master just for the added suspension travel, but there's also the people that go bananas on an RST with no suspension. So the preference is, you know, the rider and who wants what wheel, in my opinion. I still ride my S18 on a regular basis. It's a great wheel. It performs for me even though I'm at 225 pounds without any gear. I have had no problems with that wheel. I've owned it for a year and a half. <clears throat> Comparing rideability wise, the only thing lacking on that wheel now is the range for me. I used to not care. I do charge my wheels in my car regularly, especially when I'm out camping and doing things, so it's not a big concern to me but when you're riding that 25 30 mile an hour i mean it just it murders the s18 battery so that's one reason why i got the hero and the master but it's so far the hero's still the winner for me just because the suspension is upgradable there's room for it you could choose what you want to put in it the wheel's a little bit narrower the pedals aren't so high, so it's not as awkward getting on it, and it just, it's a good wheel. It's got the body panels, it helps protect the batteries, it's good looking, it has enough performance for anybody that wants a newer wheel. The price, I believe, has been coming down on it just because the other wheels releases and just the lack of demand for the Hero. The Master's slowly getting there, I don't know if... There's a whole lot of performance differences between the P42A and the other Masters. I haven't got my hands on any other Masters, so I wouldn't know. But this P42A is an absolute beast of a wheel to ride, and it's a blast. I mean, it's any, anything I've thrown at it, it just goes, and it's wonderful. It just seating riding still to me. I don't know if it's because the body's taller and the pedals are a little shorter on the Hero, but that is a more comfortable seated ride to me, especially being taller at nearly 6'2". It's it's okay. It, the, the seat works. I noticed with the tail light removed that the back of the seat on the Master is kind of floppy, like the S20, and people complained about that. There's a metal frame that bolts on. But the back, like two, two and a half inches, there's nothing underneath that foam on the top. It's a, a little annoying. I might have to 3D print something that bolts on underneath to kind of give it some more support or a little bit more length just because my legs are so long. But the Hero, it, it still wins in that department. The S18 is okay seating riding with my little adapter that I sell and the Sherman seat. 
but rideability wise on both the master and the hero it, the the weight's distributed funny so the wheel kind of wants to roll backwards as soon as you sit on it but they, they are great wheels suspension wheels are the future and i will not own anything but them i hope you guys enjoyed the video enjoyed the scenery Please subscribe, ring that bell, comment your hearts out. I get do my best to get back to everybody. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, you beautiful people.